You've probably had a situation similar to this. Something in your garage or house doesn't really have a place and you have to set it on the floor. For me in this specific situation, it's my charger for my electric car. But it could be anything, whether it's a tool, your hose, or anything that doesn't have a nice mount for your wall. So in this video, we're gonna be designing and 3D printing a wall mount adapter for my portable charger. The first step is creating a mock-up of whatever you want to mount to the wall. My favorite measuring tool are these digital calipers. I'll leave a link in the description below. So what I like to do is get some general dimensions and then switch my camera to the 2x zoom. That way there's no distortion of the lens. Set my calipers here and take a screenshot of the video. Then I load that image as a canvas into Fusion 360. And I scale the image to the distance between the two points in the calipers, in this case 100 millimeters. So at this point here I made a big mistake on my sketch. I used regular lines instead of splines. A regular line can have uh, sharp corners, whereas a spline is perfectly smooth. So for this sketch, the idea was to make a 3D sketch and one dimension along the canvas plane is the outline of the object. And then I make a circle that is perpendicular to that. It's always tricky to do a 3D sketch because it's difficult to see exactly what's going on. But I managed to get the circle to be perpendicular to the shape. And then I used a sweep command to sweep the object along the outline of my sketch. And here's where I ran into the issue. I had a line here and not a spline. So once I added the spline, it worked, and I added a guide rail, which makes it tapered to the dimensions of the object. If you want to learn how to design your own things in Fusion 360, check out all the links in the description below. I have free lessons, as well as complete, comprehensive, paid-for courses. So then I just did a quick double check on the dimensions, and it looks like it's good. And I added this kind of top piece that sticks out here, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that I have the handle mocked up in CAD, I went ahead and designed some sort of hook that attaches to the wall. And it looks kind of like a Lego figure hand. It has four countersunk holes for easy mounting and I added a little extra thickness for strength. Next, I threw it into Bamboo Studio and you can see it only costs $1.45 in material to print and the total time is just about an hour. And I'll be printing this on my Bamboo Lab P1S. All right, now it's been one hour and let's see how it looks. It looks like it came out absolutely perfect. Now all I have to do is mount it next to my 240 volt plug. And this is super easy with the help of a laser level that was actually very inexpensive and I'll link it in the description below. So now when I finish charging, all I have to do is take my portable charger handle and I can place it neatly in its own spot hanging here on the wall. And I can even take the excess cable and wrap it around like so. Thanks for watching. My name is Steven and happy printing.